Hey guys, Time Blitz here, and today we're going to be talking about clubs. So, clubs are a feature of goatlings that don't really get mentioned a lot, and honestly, there's kind of good reason for it. So let's just kind of take a little look. What is a club? According to the guide that's specifically made for new players, clubs are um, described as the following. Get together with friends and start or join the club. Make friends who share common interests and chat on your club's own mini forum. Find the clubhouses by clicking town map, then click the clubhouse on the map, or click shops, scroll down to the members alley, and click clubhouses. Members who are 13 and younger cannot use clubs. Eh, doesn't give you the biggest description, but we can go take a look at a club actually to get a better idea. Um, so this is the most popular club. It is owned by Moon Kitty, and I'm currently a part of this club. So welcome page is this. Usually this will just have a little blurb explaining something about the club, like why it was made or something. This one's just got some Moonkinny art. Um, so Forum is the main draw of clubs, and basically it creates a mini forum section specifically for people who are a part of the club, and um, anyone who's in the club can reply to it. There isn't really, as far as I know, like strict rules on what can or cannot be um, made as a topic unless if the club itself signifies it, so it's just kind of any category from regular forms just all mixed together. Underneath the forms tab is the members tab, which will list off all of the members who are in the club. As you can see, Moon Kitty's club has a lot. It also leaves which rank the member has and how many sugar stars they've donated. So. As you can see over here, this club is level 47. Um, leveling up a club makes it appear higher up on the master list, and you do that by donating sugar stars. So Moon's club is actually the highest ranked club on the site right now, which is why it's at the top of the list when you look at the clubs. And you should go in and throw in more there. Um, let's see. So this page also shows you ranks for the club. Um, I'm assuming that you can like kind of customize these as the owner, and then the power level kind of dictates what you can do within the club. After we look at moons, I'm actually going to leave and create my own club for the sake of showing how that works. Let's see. Um, so yeah, not much else. The member page, I don't really know what this is um because the members page here the one that's just listed as members actually lists the members and then member page here just has a picture so maybe it's just more space for admins to decorate we'll figure that out um then this admin button of course we don't have enough privileges so i guess let's get to it let's leave the club Goodbye. And now let's create a club. Alright, so when you go to create a club, um, this is what kind of shows up. You can name the club whatever you would like. Um, hmm, I don't know if you can rename it later or not. So I'm going to be naming it the Hardcore Apple Gang after the Hardcore Apple Gang, which is the name of my Discord for all of my fans and friends. For the club icon, I'm just going to put down the Time Guardian Hourglass. Hourglass is pretty fitting, as you know. So how this works, you just enter the name of any item, apparently, and you can throw it in. It does specifically say that club icon can be changed at any time. So does this right here, which makes me believe that the name maybe can't be changed, but we don't know. Um, so club type, you have public and private. So public, anybody can join it. Private, invite only. Makes sense. And then welcome message. I'm assuming that we can also edit this later, so I'm just going to say welcome to the gang. Let's create our club. 
All right, here it is. Here's our, our lovely club. So welcome page is just this again. Uh, forum, we have none yet because it's a new one. Members, just shows me. Okay, this is also apparently where admins are able to send an invite to clubs. So you just type in the person's username. So you just type in the person's username here and then hit send. Uh, levels and ranks. All right, this is this is fancy. So club levels are here, as usual, and then as a um, as a admin and the owner, I have the ability to create custom ranks and to change people's ranks, which is pretty cool. So I've typed in Ambu Black Ops here, which is the name of my mods on my Discord, and I'm just going to add that rank in. Alright, cool. So that exists now. That's awesome. And if you want to change the rank of someone, you can just throw it in there. It looks like you can also forcibly remove a member, so if they're causing trouble or something, you can just type their name in and kick them out. I don't know if being public or not will make it so that they can just automatically rejoin, but eh. While we're here, let's try doing a 500 just to see how this goes. So yep, just as a small increase for the next one. All right, cool. Levels and ranks, that's where we're at. Member page. Again, this has nothing on it, so it's time to take a look at the admin page and see what that looks like. Edit your club settings below. The welcome page can be seen by anyone and member page can only be seen by club members. There we go. There's our explanation. Member page is secret information for anyone who joins your club. So it looks like you can actually change the name of your club, it just didn't specify that at the beginning. As well as here's where you can change your icon and the club type, and then enter in the text for the other two. At the very bottom, there is a button to delete the club if you no longer want it. And that's about it. That's about all you've really got going on for clubs. And I think it's kind of boring. Um, so let's head back to the master club list and just kind of talk about some things I think that maybe would help clubs. I definitely feel like clubs and goatlings need a revamp because as they currently are, nobody uses them. Like most people are only joining a club because their friend made it or because they are a moon kitty fan. Um, there, there are so many clubs too, like, if we go to last, things are loading a little bit slowly unfortunately, but um, if we go to last, you can see just how many pages of clubs there are, and like, they don't do anything. Look, 167 pages of clubs, and like, none of them, none of them do stuff. So what I'm thinking is that there needs to be more of an incentive to joining a club and ranking it up. So clubs can kind of become something more like factions. And that phrase maybe seem a little too intense for goatlings, especially in the uh, context that's normally used in, you know, kind of like turf war stuff or whatever. But um, I feel like the general idea of factions kind of gives a little more oomph than the clubs do. And that's because you have something to gain and you have something to lose. So I think that there should be rewards for reaching different levels, which would encourage people to actually, you know, level up their club and get it up to the top. Um, I think that some notable things could be maybe um, if you're a part of a certain club that's like in the top 10 or something, you could get a little icon on your profile page. Um, this could either show up directly on the page itself, or it could show up next to your name in the forums. So, you know, maybe like right here next to where you've got all these other little things, you could have a little marker indicating if you're in the top 10 clubs. Um, <laughs> that's something that won't really affect gameplay at all. Or like, let's, let's see here. If you're in here, you can maybe have some kind of 
icon somewhere. Hmm. Probably, honestly, probably I would like indent after here, press enter, and add like a little mark right in between those two, just because that kind of seems like the easy solution there. But yeah, something like that. So that you know, having the little marker won't really affect gameplay at all. Like you know, it's not gonna do much, it's just for looks and aesthetics, which means that it's not going to be like, oh, if I'm not in one of the top clubs, then like, I'm never gonna, you know, have it and it'll suck forever. But it will kind of give something for someone, it'll give some kind of incentive for people who are looking for that kind of thing, you know, completionists or whatever. Following off of that, if you do want to make clubs a little more gameplay in fact impacting, I think, you know, the, like, front page of um clubs so you know if you had that little marker gives you like a slight discount in something in something i'm not sure what that would be in yet um probably something in the shop um hmm probably not like appearance dolls or battle items but maybe like a slight discount for aj buddy stuff or display name icons that could be a good one and it wouldn't be t it wouldn't be huge because you know these prices already are like not the most but you know just the tiniest little bit cheaper like you know five percent off or something or like when you go to barter um you know how like each item on goatlings so they give you this price here that's like the base price but with every single shop you can get a discount of like, you only have to pay 80% of the original price, so you would only have to pay 80% of 26k. So maybe make that a little bit more, like, you know, you only have to pay, like, 75% or something like that. Nothing huge, like I said, because you don't, you don't want it to affect things too much, but just something that will, like, give more incentive. I think that maybe another useful feature would be to have categories for your clubs. Obviously, for smaller clubs, it's not as big of a deal because, you know, if you don't have as many people talking, then it, there won't be, like, row after row of random topics. But, like, Moon Kitties, uh club, they have over a thousand people, so they have quite a few uh, topics now. And I think maybe it could even be as, like, an upgrade for upgrading your club. You can um, eventually, like earn categories and like you don't have to use them but admins are able to use those categories to create headers for people to make um topics under and like sort existing topics into maybe you could also use clubs as a way to add in a new type of trophy so if you go to your collection there's a trophies page and these trophies are mostly games, and then like the Spotlight Trophy and the Studio Blue Trophy, which exist. Spotlight is if you get one of your goats chosen to be shown in a um, update, like a community update thing in the news, and that's just kind of random. And then Studio Blue, you get if you submit a piece of artwork or writing for the monthly prompt, you get put into a lot, and you can randomly win. So I think I think having a um, like leaderboard thing for you know the top clubs could also help for that i wouldn't make it weekly like all the other things are because that seems a little too excessive and as it currently is because there has been no incentive to rise to the top these these ones that are on the front page will sit on the front page for quite some time because they have the advantage of actually having levels when most of them are still on levels like one so you know, make it maybe like a monthly or even bi-monthly event where like the top whatever amount of clubs win. And I don't think that every person who's in the club should get the trophy because obviously there's a big difference when a club with seven members wins versus a club with 15k members wins. So I think that what should happen is that it has a ratio depending on how many people are in the club, and when they win, that ratio determines how many of the trophies are randomly given out. So like, you know, with a club of only seven people, maybe only like one or two people will actually get a trophy, and then it's just randomly given out. Um, 
I don't think that your status in the club should affect your likelihood of getting a trophy or not, because that seems kind of unfair, especially if like, oh, we always give a trophy to the owner or the admin and then they just hoard them. Or like, use them to incentivize members to like, give them stuff. That seems kind of whack, so I think just randomly giving it to someone in the thing. Um, and then, you know, for a bigger one like Moon Kitties, maybe, maybe up to like, eight. Maybe even more, who knows. Moon Kitties is kind of an anomaly, but you know. And those trophies are just randomly given out to someone who's a part of the club. Honestly, I kind of feel like having randomly given gifts is a pretty good way to incentivize upgrading the club. Like, the higher level your club is, it like enters into different categories for um, what prizes you can get. So, um, hold on. Here's my awesome and cool MS Paint. Here's kind of what I'm thinking. So like, let's say these are different, different tiers of items. And when you're within like a certain range here, you know, like rank one to 20 or whatever. And then one here, it's like 21 to 30, 30 to 45, 45 plus. And as, you know, time goes on because people will become more incentivized to upgrade things, this can increase and change, the numbers can change, but basically it creates a random pool of different items at different rarities. So like these are your commons down here, and then like regular, and then uncommons and then rare items and each month again if the server could like randomly roll like depending on how many people are in the um thing like how many people are in the club that can like decide the number of items rolled and then if you are within the 1 to 20 range you'll only get items within here but if you're 1 to 30 it can randomly give you from there and like um, so on and so forth, you know, I'm kind of thinking that, like, commons obviously have a higher chance to be given to you even, even once you've unlocked 45, but, like, maybe, maybe after you get to, like, that cap of 45, it, like, increase, slowly increases your odds to get, like, you know, the rare items so, like, your percentage goes up. And, again, you know, it will randomly pick people to just give these items to who are members of the club. So it's not skewed so that only admins are getting these things to hands out because some admins will simply not hand them out. Anyways, that's all I can kind of think about right now for clubs. I definitely feel like clubs and goatlings need a big overhaul because they are just so underused and underdeveloped right now. Like, nobody touches them. Nobody even really talks about them. The only other person who I've ever even heard mention a club was Moon Kitty, and that was on like her very old here's how you play goatlings video where she just kind of briefly touched on it so you know the things that i suggested may not be perfect i don't know how easy or hard that would be to you know put into the game and you know how it would affect gameplay like i have an idea but i can never know for sure because you know i'm just a player i'm not a developer but that's kind of my thoughts on it um yeah let me know what you think, and let me know if you have any other ideas for how clubs can become more relevant in Goatlings. It's kind of a fun feature, like, if if it was more important and more people use them, I could, could genuinely be pretty cool. It's just not being used very much right now. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for listening to my rambles about Goatlings even more. Time blitz out. Oh yeah. Heads up, if you would like to join my club, I am going to leave it public for all hardcore Apple gang members. Welcome to the gang. <laughs>